just wanted to come on and do a quick change for baby John Paul, a bountiful baby, real born, Quinn Sculpt. And everybody else is sleeping, so all the other babies are in the nursery, all tucked in. Uh, so I'm just here on the bed just to make a quick video before I go to sleep. And I wanted to change John Paul out of his little, uh, really cute little bow tie shirt and black pants and socks because I got this gift here uh, from my my late husband's uh, parents and they sent me some gifts for the babies and I thought this is so cute I love barbecue and I wanted to try it on him because it's zero to three no this one's newborn actually and these overalls are so cute and they're zero to three it says um, but I think the length is gonna be way too long but I want to try them on anyway they're so cute and they're so soft I just love them so a little at a time I'll show you all the gifts that the babies got and I have uh, nine babies and so each of them got individually wrapped gifts and outfits and it's just so so sweet like I'm just so amazed that um, they love my hobby so much to do that for me and the babies so I just can't wait to try all the clothes on and this week has been kind of busy getting back to work so I thought I would just sneak in a quick video at night I hope I'm not talking too low because I don't know I feel like whispering because <laughs> all the babies are sleeping <laughs> but yeah I hope everybody's doing good and doing inventory at work which is so much fun we're doing it in between customers because we just have a small mom and pop health food store but we have quite a bit of product in there and I have a hand scanner that I use for some of the things but a lot of things that the software doesn't pick up the smaller vendors that we use um, I have to write it down manually because uh, my boss doesn't have any scanners in the store like when you check out I mean those types of scanners it's just a regular register so uh, it's not fancy so we have to do things longhand but uh, you know that's okay I'm kind of used to that anyway when I have to do book work for any of my businesses I've had over the years I've always done a written ledger even though I had a computer um, just never really got into the QuickBooks thing and all that never seemed to have the time for that but um, exciting news I got some supplies to learn to reborn babies and I'm really really excited um, I just started actually uh, over the holiday um, January 1st so I got everything organized on the 31st because I had a few days off and then got out all the supplies and I have a work table that's just off off of the living room um, in the long foyer area and um, so it's a good spot I think and I have good lighting um, but I'll tell you I was so nervous um, just starting I watched um, I'm taking a video course and so um, it's web-based and you can play it back and use it as much as you want and they have a Facebook group where you can ask questions and 
and then she adds extra um, bonuses and extra things onto her online course. And her name is Shaylin Maxwell. And, but boy, I was so nervous. Uh, but I did order some test pieces to try because I have two kits. Um, I have a little boy called the Blaze Kit. He's not a real born. It's one that I got a couple years ago to either have somebody do for me or if I decided to take the plunge and start learning how to reborn myself. So um, I got that kit and then I have Zuri which is a newborn baby girl and she's a real born so she'll have uh, more details like little John Paul here. So I don't want to start on those until I feel comfortable um, with the technique. So uh, Bountiful Baby has test pieces you can buy for very little money. And they just send you two limbs. Um, you don't get to choose what they are. So they sent a leg and an arm. And uh, they have a lot of detail on the limbs. A lot, a lot of creases and little baby wrinkles. So it's good practice. And, uh, and I have a couple more practice pieces coming. Because I don't want to start on the real kits until I feel like, you know, I'm comfortable. Now as long as you don't bake the your painting in between, you can you can kind of um, wash it off a little bit or strip it off. But it's very exciting. It's very relaxing actually. Um, you know, once I start learning a a technique and start painting, um, and I watch the video as I do it and then I have I stop the video and um, and then just work on it a little bit and I like it so far so I'm really um, excited about it and of course the only thing just like everyone that wants to do something um, it's the time constraint of course and I thought maybe I would be able to get a little extra time because we had hired a girl at work and I've been training her and she just told me today that she got a job a full-time job somewhere else so <laughs> I'm happy for her because I know she needs it and because ours was only part-time and I totally understand um, you have to do what you have to do, and so, yeah, it's just a little bit of a bummer, because uh, I'll probably still be working six days a week, at least a couple of times a month. Um, so, I'll have to get the painting in when I can. Like tonight, I felt pretty good, so... I did a little bit of work so whatever practicing I can get in and then on a Sunday I can do that but oh my goodness these are too big <laughs> I wonder if I can take these in at all because it's so cute I'd have to take these straps in um, and well the legs are way too long though like you can't see his little feet See how long it is. Oh, it's so cute though. I love him in overalls. At least I get a look to see like how he looks in overalls. <laughs> oh, he needs a hair brushing. <laughs> He's got so much bedhead. Well, his hair is so soft that every time I touch it, it just like starts getting fly away. So, oh, but he's very, very cute. So I'll have to take this off of him. And that's okay. I'll just put him in the little black pants. And his little socks. Um, he looks good in red. He really does. Yeah, let me give him, get him up close so you can see his little face. 
little details. So this is my only real reborn, so uh, when I hold him, I really study him and look at all the details on him and his little hands and his little feet. See all the wrinkles. So I really hope that uh, I'll be able to make beautiful babies. <laughs> well, I think that's all for tonight. I'm going to take this off of him and cuddle him up, wrap him in a blanket, and put him to bed. So you have a wonderful evening, everyone. And uh, I'll be back soon with another changing video and some more things to show you. I have more porcelain dolls to show you and a little toy monkey that's really cute. And so I'll see you soon. Good night, everyone. Bye.